Good day, folks. It's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today we will look at merging trace files. And I'll show you the traditional way to do it and a really cool shortcut to get away around some of the uh, problems you might have doing it the original way. So let's jump right into it. File, open. I'm going to open a trace file called 10 packets. And if we check the bottom right corner, it says packets 10. Obviously, there's 10 packets. File, we're going to go to merge. And we're going to merge 10 more packets, as the file name says. And now, just stop one second here. I want to show you something. When you do merge another trace file, you have three options. You can prepend, which puts it at the beginning of the trace file. We can merge it chronologically, which is the timestamp. So please make sure that your clocks are synchronized or they're from the same machine, ideally. And then last is append the packet. So obviously, this would go at the end of the trace file. If you do want to filter, you can always provide a read filter. So like IP.ADDR, that sort of thing. And it would help uh, kind of weed out some of the stuff as well. So I'm just going to hit open. Now you can see it says packets 20 and it works like a charm. So file, close, and continue without saving. Now I'm going to go to Windows Explorer and I'm going to take three trace files, drag and drop them into Wireshark. And as you can see, now we have 30 packets and it merges it chronologically. So uh, from the file merge, I'm sure you saw, you could only do kind of one at a time. Whereas this way I can drag one, two, three, that sort of thing, four, five. Just be careful, obviously, the bigger the files, the longer this is going to take, that sort of thing. But it's a really cool way to get trace files merged together. Um, alternatively, you can also do this from the command line, but I'm not going to go there right now because most people are asking me how to do this from the GUI. That's it, folks. Have a good day. Bye for now.